Hey there, my friends, how are you? What are we doing today? Today we're hanging out in Rise of Kingdoms. That's right, Rise of Kingdoms. I decided that I'm gonna take, give it a try and start playing this game. So I've been playing it for over a day. I'm gonna tell you about all of the things that I've learned, all of the things that I'm still learning from a noob, well, still to a noob, <laughs> I suppose. This is completely free to play. I didn't spend any money on the game. And I've gotten some pretty decent power so far. So I'm gonna take you through my journey, show you around, and all of that's getting started right now. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Nemo. Welcome to another video. This is going to be a Rise of Kingdoms video. That's right, a video where I'm going to show you some of the awesome things that I've done so far in Rise of Kingdoms. You can consider this like a noob guide, maybe even a complete and absolute beginner guide. I'm going to show you some of the stuff, some of the things that I've ran into. I'm going to tell you about the game. I'm going to show you how much power I've gotten so far, how far I was able to get in one day of playing Rise of Kingdoms. Before we get started, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, come on down to our Twitter and our discord we have a lot of exciting stuff going on there and you definitely don't want to miss out so let me make myself a little smaller and let's get started with rise of kingdoms all right so here we are rise of kingdoms baby that's right super excited so i have gotten pretty far in the game if you've noticed so far i have i mean for all of you that have played the game before and want to see a noob in action that's great for all of you that haven't played the game before i'm going to tell you some of the stuff as well now i started playing this game exactly one day ago one day if you notice i still have that shield the peace shield that you get at the beginning of the game basically what's happening is you start your you start your empire so to speak right you start your um your kingdom right here and i've joined an alliance now I've watched a bunch of videos that's right a bunch of echo gaming videos where he describes and explains kind of how to start uh as well as chizgu gaming as well so i'm going to link both of them up top because they're super awesome and you definitely want to check them out now as far as the game goes so you start with pretty much nothing and you start with a little um with a, with a little kingdom right you get to choose which one you want there's different civilizations that you can choose different types of kingdoms uh, honestly, you do some research on that. It really depends on what kind of um, commander you want, what kind of things you want. I chose Britain because I like the commander for Britain. She's really cool. In fact, um, where are my commanders? I will show you them. Ooh, we got some chests. We got to open those up too. We'll do that in a bit, in a little bit. As far as city hall level, I am level six already. So in one day, I was able to get from one to uh, city hall six. I was able to upgrade a whole bunch of stuff. If you notice, in fact, let's actually upgrade something right now. So these are all of my troops, right? And basically, what's happening here is I can cook more troops. If you go over here and you say train, as you go higher and higher in levels, you can get different troops and different things and whatever. This is an archer right now. If you train, 47 minutes it takes to train, and these are the resources it takes to it, it takes to do this. As far as resources, I'll show you that in a minute as well. Um, 47 seconds, and the more you train, the more troops you have, the more power you get. Notice I have 18,031 now as far as power goes, right? And then you could do that one. Let's see, barracks. We could train some of these guys, some of the warriors as well. And then let's train my horsemen as well. You can upgrade things too. See, 45 minutes to upgrade a specific thing. We're gonna do that, but that's later. Let's uh, let's get some more troops. The more troops you have, the more training you have. These right here, I have a quarry. I have a lumber mill. I have also a farm. So a lumber mill gives you wood. As you can see up top, I have 322,000. Uh, Cory, of course, gives you stone. That's I have eighty-five thousand of that, and then corn is food, right? So that gives I have one hundred forty-seven thousand of that. You can go. Notice that I still have that shield. That's a little glow around. So after that time runs out, after nineteen hours and fifty-two minutes, I can actually get attacked. But one of the best things that you want to do once you get this thing started, one of the things that I've noticed anyway, right, to make sure that you upgrade things continuously, have your builder. Just keep upgrading and upgrading specific things. Speaking of that, let's let's see if we can upgrade our lumber mill. That's this button right here, the green button. So I have sound to hold seven to upgrade that. Right here, 10 minutes, so I can upgrade my farm. So let's do that. We're gonna upgrade the farm. We're gonna ask for help. Once you start upgrading things, the other important thing to do is of course to continue training troops. As you can see, they're training right now. They're all running around and training. And then I have some right here training as well. So it's important to do that. The more troops you have, the more power you'll get, the more you can send with your commander to go attack barbarians, explore, pick up loot, all this other stuff. 
Speaking about exploring, you actually can send out scouts. So let's take a look. I have two scouts right here and they will go out into the world and explore things for me. So we're gonna send them to explore. And basically what they do is they open up the clouds. If you notice, I'm gonna zoom out right here. Look at this, it's huge, right? There's kingdoms, all kinds. See those clouds right there? Those clouds, if you send in uh, your scouts, they're gonna go and basically, like right now, my scout is working on this part right here. It's going to open it up and the clouds are going to part and I'm able to see in there. So that's kind of what's happening there. I have another scout right here. So we're gonna send him on an exploration over here and get that going. So you also constantly wanna scout things, you constantly wanna upgrade things, and you also definitely, 100%, always wanna make sure that you train troops. The more troops you have, the more power you have, the more you'll be able to do things. So we have our builder busy, and he's upgrading. As you can see right here, I have four minutes left on my farm to do the upgrading. We have all of our army camps, right? All of these, these guys right here, all of the stable, uh, the barracks, and then our archery range, they're being, they're cooking right now. They're doing stuff. You could research things too, by the way. Let's research something. Yeah, I already researched a bunch of stuff. We can do 14 minutes for the sickle. Okay, let's, let's do that. We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna ask for help from the Alliance so they can give us some help. What's in the lions? Well, as you're over here, by the way, you can upgrade the wall too. I have to go to level six tavern to upgrade it. And you can upgrade these individual watchtowers, which but, uh, by the way, I have not done yet. So that's the next thing that we'll upgrade once we get um, once we get our, our farm over here upgraded. So you're out here in the world by yourself. One of the most important things I've learned so far, besides doing the upgrading of all of these things that we just talked about, you want to make sure that you join an alliance, right? If you have an alliance, it helps. It helps with a lot of stuff. Like, for example, like when you're doing all the upgrades and researching, you can ask alliance for help. If you go to this alliance button right over here. Ooh, I got gifts too. See, it says to help right here. So we can help these guys and they help us. That actually shaves off the time that you need to wait to get things upgraded. So that's important. Want to make sure, see right now, boom, look at this. We got a bunch of people helping us with the research and all that. That's a really good thing to do. So an alliance is good for that. Alliance is good also for, for let's see here. That's a development territory. Gifts. Ooh. Let's grab some gifts. I got a lot of stuff here. Look at that. That's all from an alliance. So, I mean, free gifts. You definitely want to join. The other good thing about an alliance help these guys right here. Make sure we help everybody because they're helping us. We want to help them. It's very important. Another thing is good about an alliance that helps you, it helps protect you. Like for example, if you join an alliance, you get put into a place with a whole bunch of other alliance members. You notice I have my crew right here next to me, right? So if I need any help with anything, they're going to be able to help me out. If I'm getting attacked, they're going to be able to help. You can also rally. There's wars, these big events going on, a lot of exciting stuff. But really the most important thing for you to make sure you do is to join an alliance as fast as you can to, and then transfer your city next to them, your, um, your kingdom right next to them, because it's going to help you with a lot of different stuff. It's also going to help you with some protection. So it's important to do that because otherwise somebody can come in and just level you. But if you're not there or you're not strong enough, somebody who is really strong can come in and just level your city and take all of your resources, take everything from you. And you don't want to do that because you work so hard for it, right? You don't want to lose all of your power and your resources and all that. Speaking about power and resources, commanders. You have a bunch of different commanders. That's right. That's really cool. Now, it's important when you're picking your civilization with a starting commander that you get, right? It's very important to do that. But at the same time, it's also important to make sure that you get other commanders. And you get them by unlocking them from chests and all that. In fact, let's open up a chest while we're here. There's a lot of stuff. I'm throwing all these things at you. This is what I've learned so far. Again, one one day in the game. Look, at I'm at 18,000 power. That's pretty good. Let's open up some chests, right? Let's open up this guy. That's a silver chest. We get a whole bunch of that statue right there is used to upgrade up another one. Upgrade your commanders. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of keys. So I just keep up, keep opening up these awesome chests and getting speed ups, which by the way, I haven't used any of this stuff yet. I haven't used anything. No XP, no speed ups. Ooh, brand new starlight sculpture. That's pretty cool. Look, I got a centurion sculpture. That's pretty cool. Use them to upgrade my commanders. 
Oh, I got a lot of keys, as you know. Oh, I got a command. Yes, I got a commander. That's really cool. Wow. So this right here is a lance in the fire. He's advanced. Let's confirm him. Open up another one. Nope, no more. Okay, so now that we're done here, confirm. Take them out. Let's see if we have any gold ones. We don't have any gold ones. All right. So we're going to go back now. And then if I go, I like to use the commander that I started with. I like to here's the commander. So you start with this commander right here for the, for my particular civilization or kingdom, right? I like I, I started with uh, Britain. I've also gotten to know the Marks woman. Then you get to meet her. And then now we have this new commander right here. This guy. That's pretty cool. And then you, the commanders, you can upgrade them. There's talents, there's skill trees, as you can see. There's a lot of stuff that you get to do with the commanders by upgrading them. It's really, really cool. You got to have the sculptures to do so. So there's a lot of different things that thing. There's a lot of different, there's like a lot of elements to this game. It's really, really cool. I kind of like this a lot. So we have the commanders. What can you do with the commanders? A lot of stuff. You can go fighting people. Right, so I can I can go like this is a barbarian right here. I can send my commander out right here and fight this whole barbarian horde if we want to. And send some troops with them. Or I can send my commander to do some farming for me. Right, to do, like for example, I have, I need to go get some more stone. Let's see if we find some more stone. Stone right here. So I'm gonna gather the stone. I'm gonna grab my commander. And then I'm going to send some. Send like 900 troops with her. And march. So now she is going to take a whole bunch of my troops, as you can see right here. Here we are. And we are marching. We're marching towards this, this uh, place right here to farm the resources. I'm also going to need some wood. So let's make sure that we send somebody to get the wood. So we'll send our markswoman. We'll give her half of our troops as well. Okay. March her to get some troops for us. So she's going to go that way. And then since we got this new commander, our new boy right here, let's see if we can get some food. Make sure we get some food. So we're going to gather resources. Ooh, you can get one one wow why is our other commander not he doesn't do gathering hmm. i've learned to me so now they're going to be out there with our troops picking up resources and gathering them for us which is awesome All right let's take a look at what oh this right here you get to claim stuff by finishing quests look how many quests i've finished so i'm going to pick up all of my resources for that i'm rich got that set up Ooh, there's one more. Awesome. So we have all of the resources. VIP. We get to claim a chest once a day. 10,000 corn. Thank you. Once we get to consecutive times. Ooh, daily. All right. Look at that. Once we get to consecutive and the login, two days, we'll get more stuff. The more you log in, the more free things that you get. That's pretty exciting. There's also a bunch of stuff going on here. I've noticed and let's see we got some mail as you can see there's a lot of stuff to do there's really like a lot of stuff to do let's pick up all of our corn all of the things that we've gathered for the resources I'm gonna pick up all this wood we're gonna pick up all of the stone and the gold we can't get to until we get to uh, level 10 and then what's other Ooh, look at all this stuff that we have we have a key let's use it Open up this guy again. Oh, nice. Dragon Lancer sculpture. Okay. Go in the middle. No, no more. Okay. Go back. A lot of stuff going on. Expedition. Welcome to the expedition. We can challenge people and do all that. There's a lot of awesome stuff in the game. Now let's check and see if our builder is done looks like he is done so we can also have a whole bunch of buildings that we can build so a farm that's an extra farm for us let's put that over here we'll 
put our farm right here don't build that so that's going let's let's see what else can we build a shop and a courier station okay a shop that sounds good let's put the shop well since it's a shop we should probably put it in the center of town right put it right here we'll get our shop and let's see we got a courier station a courier station so let's put the courier station somewhere bulletin board and then we'll change the courier station to that all right and what's the courier station now look at that you can buy a bunch of resources a free one nice we can buy a bunch of resources so that's good that's gonna be the shop looks like the merchant comes in there right and then we have in this shop what do we got Ooh, buy stuff VIP points and a bunch of other things okay good we can't upgrade those things but since we Ooh, research so our sickle is upgraded we can upgrade the research and get extra bonuses and more power and more bonus points. But before we do that, let's see if we can research something else. We can. We can research the masonry for 58 minutes. Let's do that. While that's doing, let's see if we can upgrade our farm. Get more corn. 15 seconds to upgrade the farm. This was level one. The higher in levels you go, the higher the farms are, the, the longer it takes to upgrade and all that. You can see our commanders are out there doing some uh, farming for us and getting a bunch of resources for us. So that's good to go. Hey, this is really cool. So that's kind of what's going on in the game. You do a lot of this. Now, the first few upgrades are easy and they're quick. But then after a while, it takes more and more time. So we're going to continue doing that because this farm is level 5. We need to get our new farm to level 5 as well. I also wanted to build the siege workshop which manufactures siege weapons that's really cool let's see how what, what that is so once this guy's done we're gonna open up a, a siege workshop and upgrade that in the recruit that's where you can get commanders more different commanders and then they're gonna be able to do stuff with you so you can take the commanders and send them out you can send them out to fight you can send them out to rally you can send them out to do a bunch of different stuff so that's important some commanders are good for protection too so you can like keep them in your um in your in your city right here to make sure that they protect you got some free stuff again here for completing challenges that's nice as far as the alliance goes there's help needed okay well, let's help and give them help and then we can actually request some help too like 57 minutes we can request help right here so whoever is out there is going to be able to kind of help us and lower that time as you can see right there lower the time so let's let's build our siege workshop We'll put that siege workshop right over here. Got a bulletin board. All right, so now that we build the workshop, let's see what we can do in it. Ooh, we can train a bunch of different siege battering ram. That's really cool. Okay, we need that. So I'm gonna train that get like some 20 battering rams and then we're gonna upgrade this guy so as you can see there's a lot of stuff going on we're at almost 20,000 power already we were just at 18,000 as we we're doing this right there's a lot of things going on in here that's really cool I really like this and that is my little kingdom right here with all of ours our alliance I joined an alliance called G-Force we have 1,475 power so that's pretty good I suppose, although I know there's a lot of alliances that are huge. I know there's a lot of people that can come in there and even wipe out a whole alliance with all the power they have. But that's the key in this game, to try to get stronger and stronger and make sure that you continually check. It's really important to make sure that you continually build troops and check and continue moving. Like, for example, this guy's right here, right? I'm, I'm getting, they're training right now. Once they train, they're gonna be able to, I'm gonna be able to pick them up and add them to my army and it's gonna give me more power. Well, if somebody comes in here and wipes all of me out or I send these guys out and they die, I'm going to lose power. So that's kind of like the important thing here to continually move and continue upgrading. Now, what does these do? Can we upgrade these? Yes, we can. So we have to upgrade all of these towers and there's how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Eight and then the wall. You can upgrade the wall as well. Let's answer it wall once we get the tavern to level six to get the tavern to level six 
We need 36 minutes. That's right. So we're going to do that. I kind of want to see what this looks like once it finishes. Let's see what our archer tower. Is that an archer tower? Ooh. Wait, that was all of them or just one of them? I think it's all of them. That's cool. Let's do it one more time. So, let me know if you played this game down in the comments. Let me know some of your suggestions. Now, remember, I'm a new. I just started one day ago. One day ago, I started playing this game, and so far, I'm doing all right, I think. I still have a shield, like I said, so I haven't been attacked or anything like that. But I'm looking forward to this. This is pretty exciting. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Did I miss something? If you play this game and you're a pro, let me know down below. I'm so as far as the alliance go though, I have a pretty good alliance so far. They're very nice. They're always helping me. What's in the campaign here? Expedition. Oh, I could interesting. I'll have to check that out later too. There's a lot of stuff going on here. One of my commanders is back, so I can send her out again. Let's send her out and pick up some more. What do we need? We definitely need some more stone. Where do we get more stone? Let's see. We're mining that one right here. We also need some, I think we need some more food as well. So let's send her out this way. Have her march out to get us some more food. So she'll come out and get us some more food. We're getting some stone. And so far we're doing good. completely free to play i'm going to continue playing this game of course it's going to be 100 free as well i'm not going to spend any money on it i'm going to try to see how far i can get without spending any money how much power i can get and etc we continue playing in the next episode i'm going to tell you what else i've learned how far i've gotten where we're going with this what's going on this wonderful insane world of rise of kingdoms so so far ooh, our tower is upgraded to level three bam five minutes to level four let's do it let's upgrade it continually and then after that i'm gonna upgrade my tavern so i can upgrade my wall the track my wall which is like the main gate it's kind of interesting because i figured a wall would be all around but no it's just the main gate so what have i learned so far when you start playing this game it's important to obviously start upgrading things you want to upgrade everything right you want to make sure that you continually upgrade your farms to get more loot you want to send out your commander to pick up as many resources as you can you want to make sure that you explore all of the stuff around so you don't have any clouds so you can see all of the stuff that's going on it's massive as you can see i have explored this much so far so there's so much more to go there are so many other places to to go but so far that's how much i've explored those are all my friends over here. All my friends, right? Yeah. Why are they that far? I gotta even transform to get there too, but so far those are all of my friends. Only two of them near me. Interesting. So, wanna make sure that you send out your commander to always, always, always try to get as much as you can. Always want to make sure that you train your troops, as you can see right here. They want to keep going. Grab as much resources as you can with the commander and your farms to continually get better. The more troops you have, the more power you'll have. And then it's very important so far that I've noticed to join an alliance. Because if you join an alliance, they're going to be able to help you out. They're going to get your back. And that's really, really, really important with a lot of different stuff. Besides just upgrading, they're going to cut your upgrade times. You're also going to get your back if somebody's trying to raid you or take your stuff or go to war with you and all that. So that is so far day one for me in Rise of Kingdoms. So let me know down below what you think about this game. What do you think about me? Am I doing things right? Is there anything that you, you can suggest for me? Maybe there's some things that I'm missing because so far I'm still a noob in this game. Ladies and gentlemen, so what do we do today? We hung out in Rise of Kingdoms for the first time. I spent a day in this game playing this game and I took you on the journey with me and gave you a progress report. There's going to be more videos coming with a lot of different stuff that I'm doing in Rise of Kingdoms with some wars, some different alliances that join. The more I'm going to progress through the game, I'm going to come out with some uh, possible new player guides and things like that. So if you wanted to play this game, I'll give you some tips, things that I've learned, things that I think that are important. And of course, some more gameplay of this awesome mobile game called rise of kingdoms 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for all kinds of exciting stuff like that, for Clash of Clans, for Rise of Kingdoms, for World, of World War Do, for PC games, I'm not gonna stop. There's a lot of exciting stuff coming. You definitely wanna make sure you don't miss out. So subscribe to the channel. Make sure to follow me on my Twitter and my Discord and check out this video right here. This is a really cool one and I'll see you there.